Metro Hospital hosted a celebration today honoring a 10 year old boy and his miraculous recovery. He was hit by a car last year and has been making amazing strides since. Megan Heiler tells us how he's doing. He came in with severe head injuries, severe facial injuries, severe chest injuries, and even worse, he was bleeding to death from his abdominal injuries. In addition to that, both Brendan's legs were broken, and all of that bleeding from his abdomen caused him to die on the table. CPR was performed on him for 30 minutes in order to save him. It's so amazing. It's one of those things like you can try to understand, but unless you were there and went through everything that happened that night and really saw what was going on on that table and how many times he tried to die on us, and here he is, like, it's overwhelming. He's come a long way from the accident on Holly Road to being in a wheelchair to seeing an endless amount of specialists, even to dental work. Through it all, his family was right there. In our unit, families are allowed to be at the bedside 24-7. In fact, they're allowed to sleep next to their child. And without his family there, I don't know if he would have lived. But his family were there every single day. If he woke up, when he woke up, when he needed me, I wanted to be there. He's, you know, my firstborn, my, you know, baby at the same time, you know, and I just couldn't leave him when he needed me. It was truly a team effort from doctors and nurses to his family, to the community and his classmates, all having one common goal, making sure Brendan Scott was okay. He's had a lot of people praying for him, you know, there for him, helping him, and it's just a lot. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful, overwhelmed. I asked Brendan how he was feeling these days. His answer was simple. Happy, better than I was. I'm Megan Heiler, Fox 47 News. The hospital says he is an inspiration to others. One of the nurses who helped save Brendan, Monica Sinecropi, told us her son and Brendan are now good friends.